Well, my roommate, Paul Bigelow, was working as desk clerk, um, assistant manager, at the Franklin Arms Hotel in Brooklyn Heights. And while he was there, Mrs. Wolf, that's Thomas Wolf's mother, came to stay at the hotel. Well, she got, uh, she said it was flu, it was nothing but a bad cold, and malnutrition, because she was too stingy to eat in the dining room downstairs, and she would go out and buy little messes and put them on the windowsill because it was winter, <laughs> stayed fresh. And finally, uh, they sent for her daughter, Mabel Wheaton, who is, of course, Helen in the Comer Angel. <coughs> Helen is a large, raw-boned, wonderful woman, very frank. And uh, she came up from Washington, where she runs a boarding house similar to the one Mama ran in Asheville. And uh, while she was there, as soon as she reassured herself that Mrs. Wolf was not really ill, she went down to the nearest drugstore. And in typical fashion, she sat on a stool and said to the soda jerk, I'm Tom Wolf's sister. And after he had gotten pretty bored with her, because all members of that family have total recall, he said, you see that woman over there? She's a famous writer too. Her name's Carson McCullers. Oh, I've heard of her. So she went over and she said, Carson McCullers? And Carson said, yes. She said, I'm Tom Wolf's sister. And Carson, not to be outdone, said, well, call Tom Wolf's sister, have a seat. So she sat down. And after they discussed uh, various and sundry things, she said, you know, my mother never read a book until the publication of the Comer Angel. But since then, she's read all of contemporary fiction to be sure for herself that her son is the best. And I know she would love to meet you. Would you come up to the hotel and see her? So when they arrived at the hotel, Mabel introduced Carson to Paul Bigelow. And Paul said, uh, Carson, I room with Jordan Massey, a cousin of yours. Oh my goodness, she said, he's a legend in the family. I must meet him. Well, of course, it was my father she was thinking of, not me. <laughs> Carson was always vague about things like that. So eventually I went over to meet Carson, and that's how it all started. But on one occasion, uh, I went to see Mrs. Wolf, and I rang the door the elevator, and the door opened, and out stepped Mabel with Aileen Bernstein. And Mabel introduced me, and she said, how do you do, and walked out very coldly. And I said, well, what was she so upset about? <laughs> Mabel said, well, I'll tell you. When she got upstairs, uh, I had told her that Mama was dying and wanted to make her peace with her before she died, so she came. And when she walked in and discovered that Mama was not dying, and Mama ordered her out of the hotel, and don't ever come in my room again, I've told you that previously, and I mean it. So then coming down in the elevator, Mabel said to her, how does it feel to have been the woman in Tom Wolfe's life? And she said, that's something no one ever refers to. And Mabel said, well, maybe not to your face, honey, but they sure do behind your back. Well, at that moment, the doors of the elevator opened, and she stepped out and met me. So it was not a propitious moment. But that's, that's how I met Carson. Mm -hmm.